Okay, so I hope so everyone is doing well. This is Dr. Sharier and you know, we are going to start, I think, the overview of surgery. Um, that's the classes. Let's say you know how much I can give the overview of the first class and if possible, I'll give more overviews. So let's get into the slide. Like, you know, so this is the slide number one for the surgery class, as you can see. So, um, yeah, so this is the slide, which uh, probably you guys uh, looking for so surgery the general surgery class one uh, first of all the you know declaimer said like you know in during your surgery class a lot of things you need to you know write actually like you know because um, if you try to target a general book like belly and love like this Norman browse and a lot of other books are there like but it's quite scattered first of all so um, that's the reason you need to follow this you know slide which you know I'll be telling during the classes actually all right now uh, the book references is still we need to give you some of the book references as you can see the Kaplan John Murthag those things I'll be talking from John Murthag but normally John Murthag does not have that kind of surgery but the limited things that are uh, out there you also need to see that Oxford handbook of surgery AMC surgery we also have a surgery book in our office so um, also you know we provide the you know soft copy of that one if i get time i'll try to show you that one you know at the end of this overview all right and um, so here we go there's the thing um so initially i'll be starting the classes you know with the ethical thing like so after that ethical thing regarding the surgery we will be getting to uh more ethics related to surgery uh third um some of the surgery and contraceptive some of the in relation those things are there uh, apart from these like we'll be getting into the pure surgical topic like means the post or pre-operative the assessment you know so all those things we'll be discussing uh, next like uh, more things about the pre-operative assessment in terms of the respiratory uh, you will also find about the post-operative management and this is so important post-operative management this is a five-star topic i'll be teaching this thing uh, in the class so a lot of things will then this in discussion it will come and for that one you know we will use this particular slide all right so um now one thing um since you guys will be preparing uh, with this the overview um the days are important for the you know post-operative cases features are important investigations are important and the uh, what to do next i mean the first line of the management those particular things are important now after that like you know one of the thing that already i have talked is the warfarin heparin and the dvt thing but i'll be giving you another overview of that one now a uh, few things uh, mc surgery book i'll be talking about later um, so same thing um, say if a person is getting anticoagulant so what should be the preoperative measurement? Should I stop the anticoagulant? So those are the particular thing we will be also discussing in the class. So, um, so how to apply CHAT score. So this is also important, how to apply CHATs. Um, some of the emergency surgery. So if someone is already having anticoagulant or antiplatelet, okay, so if emergency surgery, elective surgery, you know, those particular thing we will be discussing now, apart from that, um, you also need to see John Murtag 1440 for the 6th edition user, 7th edition user, I think 1425, that's the page number. So, uh, this particular thing we already discussed in pediatrics, but I'll again uh, give you an overview and it can be a revision kind of thing. But that's a surgical topic just to add. Now, the fluid thing will come. Uh, so, a lot of things uh, will come in fluids. Then there will be yeah, more things about fluid which will come up. and still more fluids yeah those are uh, those have your mc bestseller edition you can also check the fluid thing from there apart from that yes more fluid thing and scenario like a lot of type of scenario that often comes in the mc exam so i'll be talking about those scenario actually so apart from that um yeah some of the special slides definitely is out there yeah so uh, yes diabetes simulator is a higher topic which is already taught in the medicine but in a, a patient with a surgery say elective surgery how do you want to adjust so that particular thing will be discussed 
uh, it's a very common thing like post-operative pain management so which one is first line which one is second line if you have allergy to some medication then what to do if you have renal problem then what to do so those particular things we will be discussing in this slide actually now after that there'll be uh, the thyroid parathyroid and some the surgical thing that will come and also you know hypokalemia is a very um, important thing so mild moderate severe will be discussing titania will be discussing it's a super health topic and with hypokalemia there's two or three types of question comes that one i will be discussing actually say hypo uh, calcemia at the same time if there is severe anemia if there is severe bleeding so a lot of things if mixed which one you need to treat first so that kind of question often tested okay so few things are in related to emergency emergency our class number three for the surgery that has separate classes and overview uh, about the bowel like in after surgery when the bowel sound appears so those kind of few topic i'll be discussing at the same time and yes few thing about the only infection things will come up this is some so so slightly as electrolytes is so again a five star topic like electrolyte especially the sodium like calcium even the potassium potassium we discussed in very details in cardiology but we will again give you overview of the potassium thing like you know hypo calcium hyper cal, you know hyper um, so the potassium increase calcium decrease and also hyponatremia. So all of these things are so important actually. And you need to know the normal ranges at the same time. Okay, so a few of the things you can see will come up as a slide. As you can see, we'll be discussing this thing. Uh, hyperkalemia, like so important, like number one, five star topic actually. And a dialysis patient, hyperkalemia, D different, different cases, hyperkalemia, hyperkalemia, it says it changes. So those in variant way, the question can be tested. Okay, so you watch out in the class. Okay, so and uh, some of the thing which is related to John Murtag, uh, what is written there, we'll be seeing the management, we'll be seeing the mnemonic as you can see, and also some of the question will be coming up, as you can see, it's uh, also newly added, like, you know, the post-op management, so this is so important, like the post-operative, you know, some of the oliguria, so these are the some of the things which is extremely important, all right? So apart from that one, as you can see, post-op oliguria. This is one of the things which you definitely need to remember. Actually, sorry about the sound. Someone is all the time. Someone is calling. So even during class time, I switch off my mobile. But still, I think the, through the laptop, a few other things are coming. Sorry, please ignore that one. All right. So post-op oliguria, we'll be discussing. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the thing, the catheter. Uh, this is a, one of the very hot topic guys like the catheter induced and the other thing induced let the call i think stop first yeah then we i will proceed actually all right <laughs> yeah I think stop so it's a good thing so post of oliguria so with catheter without catheter as you can see this is so important all right so post of oliguria another one another post of oliguria so there's 13 level questions out there for post of oliguria which we will be discussing in the main class so this is the overview class you know usually before every class we give the overview like what to study what not to study and we supply some materials for more study another new question uh, post renal transplant we always update you know why sma is very popular in terms like we have reached almost i think thousand students so this is a good thing so that's the like i'm very happy today so um so post renal transplant is a, another thing a uh, very very important topic so uh, cadaveric kidney and the living donor so um and what is the diagnosis so they'll give you a scenario and you will have to get the question so i'll be explaining more in the main class all right and this one c as you can see a for the life kidney and the c is for the donor kidney you know cadaveric kidney c for the cadaveric and a for the life kidney i'll be explaining in the main class all right uh, one of the things which I also discussed in the pediatrics, but again, I'll give you an overview. Pediatric surgery. Pediatric surgery. So that's also important. After that, some of the general things, these are not five star, these are like two star topic, like shock. Um, I'll say three star because the cardiogenic shock we have seen in coming. 
uh, hypovolemic uh, shock we have seen coming septic shock we also have seen in different exam and the first line of management is so important post op seizure is another so super high yield topic you know it's important and diabetes dysmellitus and you know the post op phase especially diabetic ketoacidosis which is related to type 1 diabetes how to manage which one is first line which one is second line which one is third line all right also in relation with some scenario and diabetes separately is already taught in a lecture so you definitely need to overview that one before the surgery all right so dvt is another thing which we are going to discuss what's the clinical scenario what is the first line of investigation what is the uh, next step of investigation dvt with you know two scenario that often comes one that is with the kidney and the second one comes often with you know the pregnancy so in which case case which investigation to follow so this is one of the very very important thing this is a just a maybe a one star topic like primary you know reactionary secondary if you think sometimes we add because there are some candidate they always came up you know doctor you didn't teach the hemo you know hemorrhage okay so but in terms of amc does not test it all right and some of the things which is related to anesthesia i'll be talking about that one which one to question is exactly related to anesthesia i'll be talking all right needle stick injury so important nowadays needle stick injury uh, often a popular question from the last one someone is traveling in a public transport and also get you know having a injury you know needle stick injury like how much probability of having hiv or something there's a question like that will be showing in the recall class so remember one thing these are our theory class we also have recall class apart from the every sunday we take theory class every thursday the same class just turned into the recall so this is the best way of taking preparation we also give you question bank you no need to buy any question bank secondly uh, there will be a mock test every week a surgery finish against surgery every single topic that is finishing respiratory finish against exam so that's how we proceed that's the reason we have extremely high passing rate okay so is one of the question uh, so uh, few even though i put recall here but we have separate recall class few of the things i brought just to make things interesting all right so uh, just few things uh, yes uh, so high yield thing lot of recalls we'll do on this one tetanus like um, when tt and when tig when both so this is if you understand you understand the tetanus then all right so some of the cases but more cases in the main class uh, one of the thing will be related to peripheral vascular disease so one of the question nowadays is coming so uh, why not smoking in this case and why supervised exercise i'll be explaining this is a very recent question all right so uh, some of the vaccination and things so uh, i think that's i think it's related to the tetanus one i think that's all for the surgical cases i think that for the first class we have a second surgery class we'll again come up with an another overview for the second surgery class we have three classes for general surgery then one class for eye one class for ENT and one class for orthopedics so this is your mentor Dr. Sherrier and um, see you with an another overview topic uh, have a great day